Paul Cutlip, and I'm the founding director of Project Dance. Welcome to New York City. 11 years ago, God gave me a vision to really allow dance to be used to speak hope and healing into the hearts of New Yorkers right after the events of 9-11. The most important component is the outreach, and we really invite local churches and uh, other believers to come and help us to share that message. And so while we're creating this wonderful palette of dance, right here on a, on a wonderful stage and professionals are coming out and dancing. It gives us a great opportunity to speak into the hearts of those around us. I feel that what was freely given to me should be freely given away. The greatest news in the world is the forgiveness of sins, and salvation, new life through Christ Jesus. And if somebody didn't give me that message, I'd be dead and in hell right now. And love explode and bring the dead to life. Just today, you know, I was walking in the street and this homeless guy was walking by me and I just felt the presence of God coming on me to go talk to him. And I prayed for him and I told him if he accepted Jesus and he did. And I walked away very emotional and just feeling very, you know, touching. You know, if God could help me, then God could help anybody. And he could touch you in any which way, and homeless or whoever. God's not dead, he's surely alive. He's living on the It's so enticing because I have been praying, God, give me an opportunity to talk to people, not just in my life or, or just, you know, not cursing, not getting drunk, you know, people watch me, but actually telling people about, you know, the Great Commission. Um, and this is it, this is the opportunity, and I, I highly recommend it. Let hope arise and make the darkness high. I know there's a God. I wish I could, you know, explain who or she or he is, but honestly, I wouldn't even know. I just, I know that there's something more because you can feel it almost. On a scale of one to ten, do you have a desire to know that bigger thing? Um, I would give it a, a nine or a ten. I do have a desire to know exactly what that thing is or what is more. Can I pray with you? Yes. Jesus, thank you for Monique. She's beautiful, God. You made her that way. God, we ask that you would open up her heart, Jesus, to want to know you more, God. Draw her to you, God. We ask that this seed would be planted in her heart, God, and that you would bring it to a saving grace, Jesus. Thank you for Monique. In Jesus' name, amen. On a scale of 1 to 10, how, how, how much do you want to know God? I'm very open to understanding because every time I came across someone about God, yeah. I just never really understood the concept. But if someone helped me understand it, I'm more than happy to listen and understand it. Wow. We ask that, um, God, that you would touch this man right now and that he would know you're real God through and through, Father. Thank you so much for today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Amen. I just want to pray with you right now. Because I love you, brother. Yes, We're asking for yes. new beginnings, new business ventures, divine alignments, divine appointments, new relationships to make him go to the next level for his new things, Father. And we just ask for a healing over his mind, body, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. I know here in New York, most people are really excited and open to be prayed for. And um, so sometimes just right on a city street, you'll see people praying and that's beautiful because what Project Dance is doing is taking um, church outside of the four walls and bringing it right onto the street. And I really think ministries like Project Dance are connecting with the heart of Jesus Christ who really was on the streets. He was just about people. And, um, and as I look around, I see this is, this is our church for the day and uh, we're just bringing that message just right home to the hearts of people. And oftentimes, these are folks who wouldn't, uh, maybe they wouldn't walk into a sanctuary, but they're finding one um, right under their feet on this cement jungle of New York City. He's living.